Hello, I'm Danny, and welcome to Beach Bikes. Today, I'm out on the Africa Twin. Once again, as always, it's going to be for a while as well. Honda have uh, just extended my loan till the middle of January now, so I'm going to try and get as many ride outs as I possibly can in that time. Maybe even make a little bit of a movie, who knows? I don't know. I don't know how good this footage is. I'm having a bit of a dilemma and a bit of a situation with the uh, the GoPros at the moment. I don't really get what the hype is because the way I'm seeing it is they're quite unreliable at the moment. But we'll see how it goes. And as you can probably hear, I've got my sat nav working. Um, I've kind of bodge wired in and it's not brilliant, but it will do. So now I've got three screens in front of me to look at, which is one thing that's really beginning to pee me off is I've got all this brilliant TFT screen here and it's useless to me because I don't use Apple products. Anyway, right, let's, uh, let's crack on. I'll turn the camera back on when there's something interesting. Go. Well, so I'm using the TomTom uh, Tom Rider, whatever it is, the Twisty Road Edition. And I have to say, this is one of the best sat naps on the market in my opinion. Um, I've used this for a long time now, probably four or five years at least, and it just gives me a much better route anywhere I want to go. If I've got time or I'm on a vehicle that's a bit of fun, then this sat nav is where it is. I mean, I've, I've, I've got kit cars as well, as you probably know, and I disappear off in that all the time. You don't have to go far to find really fun twisty roads. But without a sat nav, you'd have a job to find them consistently. Whereas this, this sat nav is constantly looking for the most twistiest and the tallest and the highest route. So if, it's, if, it, if it finds a hill, it'll take you to the top of it. And as you can see now, we are climbing up, <laughs> and now we're dropping down, into, uh, into the South Downs. And uh, this, this sat nav is just the perfect addition to any adventure rider, thrill seeker, motorcyclist, petrol head, because it just gets you, it just gives you a better route and you get to see so much more of, of, of what is quite a beautiful country that is, is the UK and, and England, obviously. Um, so yeah, it's uh, uh, well worth the money. And when it breaks, I'll go out and buy another in a flash. But yeah, it's been on how many bikes? So it's been on my Tiger. Uh, it's been on both my Tigers. It's been on my CRF. It's been on my Grom. It's been in my kit car. It's been in my road car. You know, it's had its uses. And these are some of the roads you ride. You know, they're still quite fast, twisty roads. There's, there's, there are another another dimension of danger involved because you are going to be pushing along narrow roads as long as you read them right all is well don't know what that was we ran over hope it doesn't end the day one thing you have to be careful of riding tracks like this is people in the road animals in the road cars in the road and then that long line of gravel where just through there <laughs> but today I'm planning on keeping kind of on the tarmac-ish today I don't think I'm going to go and try and get too muddy After the, uh, <laughs> a couple of weeks ago when it went very wrong very quickly, I don't really fancy getting in that situation again on my own in these tyres. So, unless I see, see something I really want to ride. See? Awesome roads. South Downs Way, that's quite a famous walk. Look at this. It's 
so awesome. Just dropping over the top now, but that's quite a quite a special view that. I saw a horse. No worries, thanks. I thought I saw something. It's either a horse or a lot of cyclists. public footpath but I'm pretty sure I saw it said public way here. Do I want to ride another public way today? I'm not sure. match for the twin we're climbing higher wonder if I can get a cup of tea up here South Downs Way still. Anyway, whatever. We're now... The weather's meant to be turning in a couple of hours, so I'm going to make a very slow, gentle ride back to uh, kind of the other way now and then we'll, we'll see where, where it takes us. I've got no, no real plan today, I'm just, just up for riding really. If we see some good roads and maybe some drive-bys, get drone out if we can, but it needs to be a lot quieter than this. close to shore of airport here so we won't be flying around here
twisty corners coming up. No problems for the twin. That is a public way. Should we it go? Oh, we're back green laning again then. Decided against that green lane, that looks a little, uh... yeah, I don't fancy getting stuck. On my CRF, no bother, I would have hammered up there, but don't mind getting stuck on that, that's quite light compared. Which makes me wonder whether this bike is going to be enough for me, or will I still end up having two bikes? An Africa Twin and a trail bike, or even maybe an Africa Twin and a powerful electric bike. I don't know. Or, I don't know. I definitely enjoy the thrill of adventure. That's, I think that's apparent. I like adventure. But I'm not sure. I don't know. Uh, the bike's more than capable if I had the right tyres on. So maybe I should look again, proper tyres and going for it and sending it. I love the bike, you know, every waking minute I want to be out riding it, it's just whether, whether it's going to be enough. It's a big old lump of bike, I established that in my previous videos, but... happily tour Europe on it and I'd quite happily do gravel roads and all sorts it's just the extreme green laning it might be a bit a bit heavy maybe I don't know very very not meant to be here I don't think it's amazing really weird seeing it like this really because I'm used to seeing it all uh, filled with people uh, no through road okay so it must be this way then Actually, I'm actually on the uh, the hill climb.
I'm actually doing the Goodwood Hill climb because this is the old flint wall and that's Malcolm. That's mental, isn't it? Interesting. Well, there's an airfield just over there, so the drone can't go up. There's been a lot of people bang up this driveway. Still not convinced I'm meant to be here though, but... Tell me off, I'll go, I'm really sorry. So, I am very lost. Well, we're going to go and do the hill climb in reverse now. They must really have to clean this road quite a lot. And that's the, the rally stage in there. Crazy. This is Malcolm, I think. Hill always looks a lot steeper. And down there is where they do all the donuts with the uh, Porsche KNs and all that sort of shenanigans. In there is the uh, the drift arena. And we've got a tractor on the wobble. So yeah, this was uh, not planned. All over there is like all the pits, I think, if I remember right. Looks so different. And that is Goodwood House. Cheers, Bob. Lovely. It's 
So then this will be all grandstand normally. And then this will be the first corner. And then this, I think, is the start finish line. So yeah, that's the, uh, uh, it seems very strange. And then around here, so all down here is all the tree lines. This is by the hotel, I think, down here. It's all very pretty. I can't stop because I'm really going to push my luck, I think. Maybe another day I'll whiz up. And then down here, I believe, yeah, I know where this is. This area here, come on here, I think this is where they do their donuts. They're running some massive irrigation or something through here. Ah, I know where this is. Yeah, this is where they do the, uh, where they do the drifting. I don't know where that is now, right. Okay, so when they're left out of here, anyway, I think that's going to be the end of the video. I'm going to have to turn off and dry everything. So thanks for watching. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next video. See you soon. Bye-bye.